Welcome back to day 17 of the 25 Days of Mindful Movement series. I'm Isabel Wellman, personal trainer and yoga teacher. Today we will be going through a mobility session as well as a sweet and quick circuit. All you'll need for today's circuit is a yoga mat or a stable surface. We'll begin our training session on the ground with top of foot lifts. All, the, all of the movements we are going through today are a repeat, so we should be familiar with them already, but I'll do a little intro before each one. So the top of foot lifts are where we are sitting in a hero's pose, or on top of the feet if possible, and we lift one knee at a time, putting pressure on our feet as we extend through the ankles. And then we lower down and we lift up. So you can start with your first side. We will hold for about 15 seconds on each foot, or you can move through these a little bit more dynamically. Whatever feels best for you. Go back, or go on the other side. Go back to the other side, and we'll just go through this one more time on each side. Mascot Elmer, what are you doing? He's got his little pig. You got your little pig? Yes. You can do this one more time on each side, or you can make fists with the hands, and bring both knees up. Again, make sure that your feet are straight back and not crossed over one another. Wonderful. Then we'll come into back of wrist push-ups. So coming onto the back of the wrists, staying on our knees, because we do not want to put too much pressure or weight on our wrists, but we're just finding a range of motion, pressing out of the top of the hands, and lower down. Do about five of these. Excellent. And then we're going to turn the hands towards the knees. Gently sit back on the toes. Tuck the toes under. Slight bend in the elbow as we slowly peel the palm of the hand up and then back down and switch sides. Do it however many feel good for you and your body, wherever you may be at. And then flip them over. Start with them a little bit closer. Take a few deep rounds of breath, then slowly come up and off of them and shake them out. If they feel tender, go slow. We're shaking them out. The next thing we're gonna do are claw push-ups. So making a claw with our hands so that each knuckle is flexed or engaged, placing them on the mat, coming onto the knees, not doing a full push-up like this, slowly lowering, coming up. Go through five to ten of these at your own pace. We'll then go into wrist pickup drop-ins. So hands out in front of us. We bring the hands down, pick up our fingers, squeeze our forearms, let them go. Hands up, squeeze, fingers wide, drop down, squeeze up, and back up, squeeze. 
squeeze. Go through that three more times each way. Remember that these mobility sessions are perfect for any kind of movement session that you go into, whether that's skiing for a day, playing some basketball, whatever your fancy is. Next, we're gonna come into revolving sit-down stand-ups. So if you remember, we're gonna come up onto our toes. We're going to spin one direction. We're going to sit down. And then we're going to stand back up. Revolve, oops, all the way to the other side. Sit down. And stand up. And we're going to do four, five of those total. Four more for me. So up on the tiptoes. We spin one direction. Lower down. Come back up. And spin. Spin the other way. Sit down. Stand up. And do that three more times, or four more times, wherever you're at. Wonderful. Then we're going to do Cos Cossack walkout lunges. So we will start by lunging to one side, walking out in front of us, walking back into the Cossack squat, stand up, and then go the other direction. So let's move through five of these on each side. So if I started the other way, and I come back, that's one. So this is going to be a part of number two. And then I finish number two, just like that. Activating the full body. two single leg internal external rotations. Do three to five on each leg, but they will look like having one foot out in front, drawing the ankle up, so turning the ankle up into the body or your foot, drawing your knee up, and then pressing it all out, externally rotating it down. And then coming back up and reversing. That's one. Switch to the other side when you're ready.
and that's five. <sighs> now we'll come in to paint the fence. Start with the hands low. Start the movement by reaching up with the top of the wrist and fingers down. Then flip the fingers up, lead with the bottom of the wrist. Do five of these. That's two. That's three. Four. And five. Good work. We'll come into open and close the gate. So lift one knee up. Open the hip with a nice big hip circle. Do five to eight on each side and then reverse your, your leg. So if you're opening the gate, you want to close the gate behind you. And then switch to the other leg when you're ready. Lovely. And if you have a broom or something that you can hang onto on each end available, please grab it. We're going to do some pass throughs. So just letting the broom come up overhead, and then back in front of the body. Do about five to ten of these. And once you're done with those, we're going to just do some quick around the worlds. So bringing one hand up, down, other hand comes up and over the head, across the body. So if my left hand leads this movement, now my arms are behind me, my right hand comes back overhead. Do three to five of these each side or each direction. Wonderful. And that concludes our mobility session for today. As for our circuit training today, we are going to go through four different exercises, burpees, push-ups, squat jumps, and shoulder taps. And we're going to do a set number for each exercise, and then take a one minute rest at the end of the round, and then repeat for three rounds. Please go ahead and add more rounds if you feel like doing extra. Again, because these are all repeat exercises, I will not be specifically demoing them, but we can go over them very quickly here and now. So a burpee, you jump up, you jump down, you jump your feet out, you come back, you start over again. You can add a push-up, or you can just do the movement without one. We are going right into push-ups, so Unless you want double trouble, you know what to do. Push-ups, we're gonna come to the ground. Hands right underneath the shoulders or next to the chest. And we're going to let the elbows come out in an arrow shape. Come back up, squat jumps. You're going to have the arms however you want. Sit the hips back, jump up. And then lastly, shoulder taps. So you'll come onto the floor onto the toes and hands, and then tap each shoulder. So we will be doing 10 burpees into eight push-ups, 15 squat jumps, and 10 shoulder taps. And then we will take a minute rest. So you're gonna go through this as fast as you want and can. If you can keep up with me, Fabulous. If you go faster than me, 
fabulous. If you go slower than me, no sweat, just pause the video, catch up, play it, and make this your movement session because that's what it is. Taking control of where you're at in your body, how you feel, with your energy, and not about pushing yourself if that's not where you're at. I trust you to make that decision. So we will start in about 10, no, 15 seconds, and we'll go right through the first circuit. So burpees, push-ups, squat jumps, shoulder taps, and I'll speak them as I go. So in five, four, three, two, and one, 10 burpees. Down to push-ups, eight push-ups. Into squat jumps, 15 squat jumps. Down into shoulder taps. We're doing 10 on each side. Perfect. And a one minute rest. So just two more rounds that I'm gonna do. I skied all day today. I'm feeling in my legs. Those squat jumps, whoo, different level. I'm tired. And if you're feeling like three isn't enough, go for four, go for five. There's only four exercises. Pretty straightforward movement. Be in control of your breath. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, and one. Ten burpees. Down into push ups, doing eight push ups. Into fifteen squat jumps. down into shoulder taps. 
10 on each side. something, anything. This is it. Breathe through your nose and out your nose to slow down the heart rate. We have 10 more seconds left. We'll go right into 10 burpees. In five, four, three, two, and one. into 10 shoulder taps. Last exercise. Woo! And that is a wrap. All right, make sure that you take 10 minutes to stretch Go to one of our flexibility days, yoga days, or go check out the cool down, warm, cool down workout on my channel. It's very quick, easy, will guide you through the entire process, or tune into your body and see what you need. Thank you so much for joining in for day 17. It was an honor to be here with you today. And if you're not a part of the newsletter at this point, I don't know what you're doing. It's a good time over there. So, share this with anyone you think could use a little energy revamp. Encourage them to follow along in the mindfulness practices. And remember that it takes a lot of courage to show up for yourself to become who and what you want to be. So, again, thank you, and I'll see you back here for day 18.